Hey guys, welcome to Fit After 50 and thank you for clicking on the thumbnail. There are thousands of beginner workouts out there, so I appreciate you clicking on this one. My name is Paul and on Fit After 50 channel, I take you through all the workouts. We'll get started in about 20 seconds or so. We have a beginner dumbbell workout today, as you guys probably already know. First exercise is going to be a lunge to a curl to a press. We're going to do alternating lunges and alternating legs. Each interval is one minute long. You guys ready to go in three? Two, one, lunge forward, take your time, curl, press, and nice and easy, and lunge back. Switch legs, forward, curl, hold it, and back. Hold that lunge as deep as you can hold it. Up, down, back. These are long intervals, so take your time and pace yourself and back. Of course, if you want to make this more challenging, use heavier weights. You can also use this with no weights. Just lunge forward, bring your arms up and follow the same motion as I'm doing. We have about 15 seconds left for the first interval. Then we're going to take about a 30 second break. 10 seconds left, press, and back, and let's do one more. We have five seconds left. Three, two, one. That's pretty good timing. All right, 30 second break. For this next exercise, we're gonna get down on the floor. And you guys should see the preview right about now. Actually, we're gonna do a renegade row. You know what? I filmed these live, and this is what it is. Single dumbbell, renegade row. Follow along with me. The preview is still there. All right, we have five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. So give me a renegade row, one arm. Switch to the other arm. Switch arms again and give me a side raise. And then switch arms and give me a side raise on the other side. Stay right here, this is the pattern we continue. Renegade right, renegade left. Side raise right and then side raise left. If you need to take a break, take a break, or do it with no weights. Renegade, switch arms on the other side, beautiful. Side raise, and side raise on the other side. We have 20 seconds left, keep it up. Ready, one, two, three, and four. Let's do one more set, ready? One, two, clock's running out. Let's finish it up, three, and let's do one more on this side, finish this set, and there we go, all right. Beautiful, so a little less than 30 seconds left. Now we're going to do single-legged RDLs, which is Romanian deadlift. Once again, preview's up on the screen. Grab two weights, no weights, or one weight, Stand up straight and pivot at your hips. Are you guys ready? Single leg, so one leg's up in the air. Pivot forward nice and easy, as low as down you can go. The knee does not have to be locked out. Keep it on a single leg. Keep your balance as best as you can. I'm doing the best as I can. Sometimes I fall over and then it's okay. Nice and slow and control that movement all the way through. Like I said, don't lock that knee out, but Keep it relatively straight. 30 seconds left. Nice and easy. As you fatigue, the balance is gonna be more and more difficult. You can rest a little bit for a second or two. And go back down. And back up. You got 20 seconds left. Single leg. Down. Work that hamstring, work that glute. Nice and easy and back up. We have five seconds left, let's do one more. Two, one, and back up. All right, put the weights down, shake everything out just a little bit. We'll switch sides, we'll do the other leg. So whatever leg you start on, flip it around. All right, 20 seconds left, shake it out. I'm feeling pretty good in my hamstring. So don't sit on the ground, don't do anything. Just kind of move around, give it a little active recovery rest. All right, five seconds left. Grab your weights. If you were using weights before, 
and switch legs. Ready? Three, two, one. Down, easy. And up, easy. If you want to make it more challenging, don't put your foot down as you come back up. So go down and come, come back up, but don't put that foot down. And go back down and up. And if you want to rest, you can put the foot down now or just keep it up. Ready? Go down. And you're looking good. 30 seconds left. And back up, 25 seconds. We have probably three or four in us. Nice and good pace. Remember, it's important to stay consistent, guys. I don't want you going too crazy, going too fast. I want you to be pretty comfortable doing this. Just a little bit challenged. Three seconds, two, one, last one, and you can come back up. All right. Now we're gonna to get to the exercise diet that we're doing in the second exercise, but it is the fifth, fifth exercise. So we're gonna get down on the ground. Into a press, follow along with me. When you're doing your glute bridge, keep those hips as high as you can. If they're here, that's okay, as long as this is as high as you can go. You guys ready to go? Three, two, one, up. And give me one leg and back down and the other leg, and back down, and then press. Leg, and press. Push those hips into the ceiling, right? Keep it up. Press. One minute on this. And press up. A little less than 30 seconds left. Keep it going. One, two. Nice and easy on the press. There we go. One, two. 15 seconds left. Keep it up. And press. Five seconds. Last one. And give me a press. Let's finish it up. All right, it weights down nice and easy, and we get to rest for 30 seconds. Next exercise, once again, previews up, as you can already see it, we're doing squat to a deadlift. So you can keep your weights with you, do it with no weights or do it with heavier weights. I'm using relatively light weights today, as this is a beginner workout. So we're gonna squat, then we're gonna deadlift. Ready? Three, two, one. Go down to the squat and give me deadlift. Squat, weights in front, and lift. Squat, and lift. Squat, and lift. If you want to know what it looks like from the side, it looks like this. Squat, and then and lift up, and squat, and lift up, I'm going to face the camera because I don't want my face in it, squat, and up, let's do one more, squat, three, two, one, and we're back. All right. For this next exercise, we're doing a crunch. Once again, you can do it with no weight. You can do it with two dumbbells. You can do it with single dumbbell. Just gonna hold the dumbbell over your head. You don't have to sit all the way up. We're just gonna crunch and work on that core that way. Lay back down, get nice and comfortable. I'm gonna use a single dumbbell. I'm just gonna hold it over my head and then I'm going to crunch. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. And that's the entire movement. Press towards the ceiling, hold it for a split second and back down. Always control your movement.
squeeze that core right here and back down squeeze up hold it and back down looking good down up squeeze hold down 15 seconds left keep going these intervals are long today they're challenging and back down five seconds left two one and weights down all right stay on the ground why not we're going to the glute, glute bridge once again this way however it's going to be static and it's the upper body and the chest is going to be moving i gotta make sure i got enough room we're going to do a chest press and then fly press and fly all while holding the glute bridge once again try to keep the glute bridge as high as possible don't forget all right let me look decent here we go weights up butts up press fly Press, hold it, good. I gotta remind myself to hold the bridge up higher. Here we go, press, fly, press, fly. Floor is nicely here to protect us from going too low. Press, fly, press, and fly. We got less than 30 seconds, seconds left. Press. Looking good. Keep it up. One, two. About 10 seconds left. Ready? Keep going. One, two. Looking good. One, three, two, one. Weights down. Nice and easy and relax. All right, we're at 30 seconds of relaxing. What do we got next? We did our glute bridge. Now we got our overhead crunch. So we're gonna stay right here. Single dumbbell or no dumbbell or two dumbbells, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna stick with the single dumbbell. You're gonna bring the weight over your head while your legs are up and then you're just gonna curl forward. You guys ready to go? You gotta make sure you get enough room. You gotta make sure I'm decent. And here we go. Legs up and just bring it up. And everything down and up. Down. If you have to leave your legs down here, it's okay, just do this. If you want it more challenging, bring your legs up. If you want the most challenging, straighten your legs out. I don't, I think I like too close to the wall in order to do that. So I'll just do this. Try to keep that back, press against the lower back. Press against the floor, even when you go back, squeeze towards the floor right here with your lower back. Squeeze the lower back into the floor. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and let's just relax. All right, we're almost to the end. We got one exercise left. Guys, I have an entire playlist of beginner exercises on my channel. Check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description below flying over my head right now and at the very end on the end screen you can't miss it ready all right we got squat to an extension so you're going to grab your dumbbell you're going to squat down and then extend the dumbbell in front of you this is difficult or it can be difficult so if you got no weights just do it no weights this and bring it back squat down out and up down Hold it, and up. This is the last exercise, so you're pushing it a little bit. We almost made it to the end. Hold it, out, looking good. 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds left. Ten. Five seconds. This is our last repetition. Hold it. 
and back up. And that's it guys. That was our beginner friendly or workout, however you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I hope you come back for more workouts. My name is Paul. This is Fit After 50. Workouts coming up every Monday and every Thursday, I should say. And I hope to see you guys during the next workout.